Right. Now that your project has been approved, it's active, it's ready for action, let's talk about the different types of transactions that can be posted as activity on your project. There are several different types of activity that could happen on your project. And let's kind of go through what those are. So for one thing, you will obviously have team members charging, doing tasks on your project, and they will be charging time to your project. They would either use OTL, Oracle Time and Labor, or perhaps a third party time card application that sort of feeds into Oracle some way, somehow. The second way is that they can perhaps require um, something that they need to buy ahead of time and so they would go ahead and purchase it and then submit for reimbursement from your company. Those would be considered expense reports. And then we have the actual purchasing process. So any sort of POs or purchase orders that have been issued out for stuff that you would need for your project would come in as future costs on your project. We call those commitments in projects, okay? And so those would be, you know, any sort of POs that have been issued that are being charged to your project. Once the goods have been received and the vendor gives you an invoice, well, those costs are also going to come in through uh, payables and projects will actually actually pull all of those expenditures from AP in order to include in the costs of the project. And finally, in some organizations, we actually have the ability to upload a spreadsheet of transactions directly to the project. And this would be essentially synonymous to the upload, the spreadsheet upload of journal entries into the general ledger. So we won't necessarily cover that for this course, but refer to your organization's buddy course for more information on spreadsheet upload. We call them web ADIs into Oracle projects, okay? And finally, what we can do in projects is directly create transactions right into projects, right onto the project, okay? And this consists of what we call usages and perhaps miscellaneous costs. And if need be, it is still possible that you can have an administrator of the project, obviously assuming that that person has the right access to do so, the administrator of a project can actually enter transactions like time cards and expense reports within projects and charge directly to the project. So these are all of the different methods in which your project can collect activity.